Hello, builders of Evermore Wave, and today, as you can see, we're gonna take a look at gold. And uh, before we get started, I promise to one of you, a watcher, subscriber, hopefully, um, the to take a look at the gold to silver ratio, as you can see here. So we're gonna take a look at it um, quickly, and then see what, and then take a look at gold as usual. So, um, so the way I will count this using our wave would be. In series of threes, so like four x. So to give you an idea, this would be up, down, up. Now the question I think is, is this gonna do this, or is this gonna do this? <laughs> so obviously, if we go up, then we expect um, gold to outperform. Remember, if if this goes up, being gold again silver if this goes up it doesn't mean that silver is going to um, silver price is going to be lower um, it means that just gold is going to outperform right basic math um, so what we can do is usually look at take a look at the numbers so 100 is going to be um, very important as you can see here we are finding um, what I like to call traffic on top of 80 okay numbers disappeared perfect so 80 as you can see is right here by the way should be able to show you guys oh, anyways never mind uh, 80 is here so this is 80 um, I would say that as long as we trade above 80 we could expect for their upside now you could argue to some degree this was three this could be counted as five three down maybe up i guess it's possible at least to 100 and then we'll see uh, but overall i'd expect uh, gold to outperform perhaps um but yeah that would be that would be the take um so either i would still expect one move higher and then at that point, either down or continue higher, because this looks like incomplete. Up, down, and then we need at least one more wave up. So that out of the way. Any questions? Just let me know. Gold. So I will. I talked about long-term counts for gold in many previous videos. So all that I will say today about it is we are, as you can see, we're assuming the, we are within this wave three. By the way, we are moving higher. It looks like we could be in, within this way three. It's really possible. The upside target should have some here, somehow, somewhere. Blah. Um, maybe I deleted it. No. Uh, so the upside target 1.618, three against one stands at $22,722, which we could get there. And um, what else? This is important. Uh, volume. Yeah, quite some volume. Volume. So we'll, we'll see. We're, we're going to analyze um, this move um, in just a second. Uh, looking at numbers again, uh, 20, 20, 2650 is the level to watch out for, and that's where we're finding traffic once again. That's how how I like to call it. But we'll see that in just a second as we zoom in into the intraday. Uh, other than that, don't really want to touch more on it. Um, looking for a top here. It looks like we argue a bit more upside, but uh, not too much. That's the way at least I see things going. Now, on our chart, investigate this move up within five. One, two, three, four, five. As simple as that. Now, as you can see, I was wrong last week. Um, I was expecting a potential triangle, which we maybe got, but in a wave B. That would be my best guess. Uh, my best guess would be, let me zoom in. A, B, C, D, and E. Oops, that's my alarm. Okay, so like this. And uh, I mean, if we kind of like that, A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, one, two, three, four, maybe one more leg lower, uh, possible. But as you can see, as I said, 2650 uh, is, okay. So as long as we trade below that, I wouldn't be too bullish. Now, if you want to 
this depends on your training style, so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. Equality stands at 2,600, as you can see. So yeah, I would expect that to be reached, um, maybe even today, and then eventually look for a week, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, look for a bounce off of it. Uh, that would be my uh, the ideal uh, pattern. Uh, it almost looks too good to be true, to be honest, uh, especially as um, we are also within the parallel channel. So the main um, thing is that I would uh, I wouldn't like you to see going too deep. Um, proportion wise, this is perfect, but uh, you know, as we are also 38.2%. So I see we have multiple, um, let's say, signals in a way. Uh, let me let me allow me to call them um, as such. You know what I mean is we have 38.2. We have equality of C against um, A. We have the parallel trend channel. So we have confluence, you could say. So uh, uh, as I said, it almost, it almost looks too good to be true, uh, but it just could be true. Um, we'll see. Uh, it usually doesn't work with uh, when it comes to women, uh, <laughs> but when it's too good to be true, it usually is. Uh, but in trading, it, it could be, you, know, you never know. Um, thumbs up if you made this far to your, this uh, dad joke. I mean, not really a dead joke, more of a teenager joke. Um, but yeah, I think I, I, don't, I don't really have much more to say, to be honest. Uh, so I don't want to waste your time. Any questions, let me know in the comments. You can always join the Discord, it's totally free. You can ask me in there. And uh, subscribe, because it really helps. Um, but I appreciate you guys for watching as well. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.